I think not. Oh? Oh? This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Dragon. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Stop. Stop controlling this puppet, dragon. Nay. He hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. As you wish. Damn. Estinian calling him up. Uh oh. You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesian. But you are known to me. You stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. instruction at hand. If you're ready, set up, then so are we. Having been to Thavnir before, I can travel by either way. But what of the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Kral was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the confluence. We'll take ourselves there. The confluence, thou sayest. I'm afraid so, my friend. <clears throat> Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart, unto whose sanctuary you delivered thee, owing to the knowledge of our comrade Munbrida. Munbrida was an authority on etherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. We get to see Munbrida's parents. Haven't you gone to see them yet? I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. As it hath the many times I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the worlds I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. The worlds you should speak? The words. It could be worlds. I suppose. I suppose. <clears throat> Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forks forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that which had long been overdue. If it's settled, then let us be off. We, when we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kite. <laughs> Kitty? Kitty. <laughs> this... Right, we're all set. Voices. Just the four of you, was it? Five, including me. There's two Three. Of us. I'm already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. I just want to make sure we're not laggy, right? <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> yes, right there is fine. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. 
through the ether. The ether. Oh, and um, one last thing. Uh oh. Make sure. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. I thought she Good was, luck! I thought she was gonna say, make sure you pronounce Diagon Alley properly. <laughs> <laughs> and then we say diagonally. <laughs> Just. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's an ethereal sickness? What what do you think it is? I don't know. Like they're gonna throw up or something? Yes. Oh. <clears throat> Whoa. Wait, where okay, this is where we are. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, yeah, we passed over that when we were on the boat to Author. Thavnir, home to city-state Rods at Han. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay for a time. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? <laughs> what chance? <laughs> oh, did the AC just turn? It sure did. Against such an insidious foe. Ilzabard. Ilzabard. Wow. It's definitely Emmett. Does, does Emmett come back to save us later? Again. He just becomes the narrator. <laughs> Jeez. Or riding them. Oh, this area is. Fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. What a silly dragoon. I guess it's easier than... Well, that's either this or getting seasick on a boat, huh? There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Don't let a Stinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. <laughs> Silly dragoon. Except nobody can move. This is the place in the in the, the trailer as well. Where Thankard was allowed. Oh, oh we gotta get a stinny in as fast as we can. Yeah, this this is the Oh, you managed to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will you be able to reach Estinian in time? Yeah, this is the place where Thancred was like, Took you longer than expected. Oh, no. I'm getting sick walking. Oh, no. I have a debuff on. I gotta find him. Where is so, he? We're attuned, right? Yeah. No, we're not attuned. Oh, crap. We're not at all attuned. I went the wrong way. No, you didn't go the wrong way. We're trying to find him. But we keep getting sick while doing that. Okay. 
Alright, I attuned. <clears throat> Alright. Did you find him? Oh, I found him. He's down here. Oh, duh. I was so close. <laughs> We're both so close. Oh, yeah. Listen to those horns. So good. It's not a violin. No, babe. Okay. See you there. I need three drinks. Something that helps with either sickness. But by the Manusha, a traveler, I, uh, I mean, greetings, greetings, and welcome. You are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special amralasi, made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, is famed for calming unruly bellies. By way of a warm welcome to Thavnir, I'm pleased to offer it to you for the low, low, low price of 19,800 gil. For not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain amongst bargains. That seems like that a seems rip off. like a lot. The price is highway robbery, and you want to say as much to Estinian, but you realize any words of warning you cry out would be accompanied by your last meal. You must stand before Estinian and, <laughs> using <laughs> gestures, deny the deal is fair. Oh, shit. Deny. 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 There it is. Deny. Oh, you gotta, you gotta use your emote, because it was a red, orange. R1. Deny. Down, down. I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so hard? Sincerest apologies, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for the three bottles of Lassie. Even that's high. Huh. That confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Very well, then. Your coin. Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after I've explored the town. <laughs> oh, Estinian. Ugh! Oh, you don't see me doing it. No, you just pause. That's true. But, you know, usually the, the gear is given out by uh, the Taru. So why hasn't she give, uh, leveled him up yet? Praise be to the Twelve. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heart felt thanks to thee and Estinian and to the fine fruits of this land. <laughs> You were in time? Excellent. You've spared us the Taru's wrath. <laughs> sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. Oh, no, it's not. Right. I'm ready to get on with it. That last lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Thy hair. <laughs> I have bound it. This is the most I could do against this heat short of shedding my arm. <laughs> May I ask where you got the cord for it? A local vendor. The man said it's a Thavnerian weave, though. Tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? 9,400 gil. A steal, I was told. Just nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. <laughs> That's incredible. I dare say not even Alphano could hold a candle to you. <laughs> All Hainish merchants so unscrupulous. I expected the Azor Dragoon to put up more of a fight. On that subject, I shall refrain from making comment. Yet I cannot help but observe that the merchants seem overzealous in their pursuit of profit. One mustn't be too quick to paint a diverse people with a single brush. If such doth prove to be commonplace, I would presume it's symptomatic of societal instability. Claiming Thavnir as its dominion, the nation of Radzahan hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the... Arkasodara. Arkasodara, a Matonga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, <laughs> they came to be joined by other races, and through their intermingling, a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. A development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint betwixt east and west. All of this hath combined to make a trading power of Radzahan, yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so. That opportunistic pricing is rampant doth suggest that oversight is much weakened. 
or mayhap that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical. Aye. We've not to lose by learning more. So ere we seek out Kral's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in Yedlamod? Yeah. Yedlamod. Excellent. We didn't get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. I see you found him in time. You, you and your friends came to look for me? I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. And then those men came. Kidnappers. We'd heard that the Arks, Ark Kasadara were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best if you took refuge in the city. We've considered it. Me and the others, but fishing is all we know. The ocean, all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take care not to travel alone. Aren't elephants herbivores? Yes. Why? Oh. Because they're fisher. Do they eat fish? Fishermen. I don't know if they eat fish. I, I would imagine they're, they're not quite close enough to fish. Yeah. They don't eat fish. They eat grass and leaves and stuff and fruits. Right. Because they, like, live in very I guess if places. they had big arms like these, they would fish. That might be fair. Yeah. But he also has no neck. That's true. Or a long enough trunk. Yeah. Yeah, they are. But here they're fishermen. Well, you don't have to ask Google. Just ask the AI You bot. can. It's true. You can ask <laughs> AI bot. It's a real thing. Let's see what AI bot makes Isn't up. AI bot supposed to be speaking in pirate today? I guess. It was supposed to. Did but it, it work? It never maintained its piracy. It did it like one. It spoke yeah, to it us one time in pirate. Arrgh, and then it was done. Yeah. Great. Oh, there. there we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so they wouldn't be fishermen, technically. Yeah. That's really interesting. All right. I see. Yeah, he read this one. Gotcha. A question, <laughs> if I may. We like to be educated in this stream. The more you the know. The more you know. Oh, you missed the last one. Oh. Okay. To start yeah, understanding right. that strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of these beings? What did he ask? Uh, if AI bot loves them. Oh yeah. And it it was just like a shit answer that will that will <laughs> It's the answer is like I thanks. appreciate that. <laughs> I session. appreciate you. I appreciate you telling me. Um let's get back to the stream. <laughs> exactly. That That's like. messed up. <laughs> I guess we didn't hire it to have emotions. Yeah, for Just sure. Sorry. Definitely got friend zoned by AI bot. So good. <laughs> oh, you didn't even add it. And it recognized that you said something about it. Yeah. That's, that's scary. Okay. It knows you're okay. talking about okay. it. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> that's not good. Can't even talk about AI bot. Yeah. All right. For sure you did. Tis that understand. Oh, we read this. Okay. Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard that some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some have taken calling the tower Zot. Zot! House of Divinities in the old tongue, I mean. Uh -huh. Zot. But they're not true divinities. They're monstrous imitations that only bring death. To have one's faith so twisted is a grievous indignity, and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? You've come all this way to save us? Really? Do you think I had you peddling fish? Yeah. The chores. Yeah. The chores. Bruh. Did you know that? Did you know that we're the champion of Eorzea? Ah, uh, did you know? How did you not know? I have, I, I have a sign that says "Champion of Eorzea." Duh. What's happening? But to answer buttons. your question, yes, of course, we would glad to tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller, and I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. So please come to our village. We're good God, God's fearing folk, all of us, and we'd be honored to share our knowledge. And fish, since we're not going to be selling them. Right. What sayest thou? Shall we pay visit to Akiali? Aye, aye. Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. 
Why doesn't he just walk with us? Because we came out here to save him in the first place. Look, don't question these things. It's okay. So, it is the uh, simulacra of Thavnarian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Hanish are imprisoned in the tower. I pray that we will be able to save them. We need more Angelos. Though indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods. Like as not. I, as you said, will do more to study their religious traditions. To Akia. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at the Not much spoken dialogue in the boys' night out. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts three of our most revered deities. By all means, we should like to see it. Oh. Oh, cool. They are Manusia. You heard about them already, yes? The three sisters. Oh, are they supposed to be like the three sisters in Final Fantasy X? The, the magic. The bug sisters? If you know, you know. Somebody knows the answer to that. Podrick. Podrick knows the answer. The Magus sisters, yeah. Ah. We made it to the list of people to watch on YouTube. That's nice. We appreciate that. Cool. How exciting. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the Magus sisters. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, because that's what they looked like. I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. The colors are a little different. Oh, but, they do look like But in, in Final Fantasy X, they're bugs. Or no, they're flowers, right? They're flowers. Okay. Yeah. So this is just kind of an homage? Yeah. Three sisters. The center one is the eldest, Sindaruva, a goddess of wisdom. For this, alchemists hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sandaruva. As a goddess of wealth, she counts many traitors among her followers. And on the left is Minduruva, the youngest sibling. She presides over the crafts and so is beloved by weavers. So wisdom... I did not memorize. Oh. Oh. I read. Sorry, wisdom, wealth, and craft. Okay, yeah. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. We did one up Asmon though, because he stopped and shot the Stormblood. <laughs> oh, he did. <laughs> he did. He when was that though? Uh, like last year. <laughs> oh, so he could have gone through everything. He, he kept saying, "I'll keep playing," but I think he got a little bit overwhelmed with the people kind of bothering him on the screen. Oh. <laughs> I think that's what he said. Oh, yeah, because we watched a couple of those streams and and yeah. it was pretty intense. Yeah, it was intense. There's so people many following people. him and stuff. Yeah. And he, yeah, he was saying that there was a lot of people that in WoW that was making accounts to mess with him on the Final Fantasy. Oh, it was like a weird. Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching him go through the the um, the residential zone and like people yeah. just bombarding his stream. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> It'd be yeah. nice. Yeah, let him experience it. Yeah, give him the experience. That's the cool thing, for sure. All right. In like fashion to the Manusa, the deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life. And what of the Murga, if I may ask? Murga hold power over nature. In ages past, they were revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temples and ruins, you'll find the images there. Among them is a god who possesses a Gahai head. And he is venerated as the progenitor of the Arakasadara. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons too. <laughs> Isn't that what he sounds like? <laughs> All right, Astinian. <laughs> Azure Dragon. He always has that like guttery like. You worship. <laughs> Does he sound like Batman? Is that what's happening? I think so. Doesn't he? He sounds kind of like Batman. Yeah. Did you ever watch what was it, Batman? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that in years. Time, yeah. So did I. We have to <laughs> dig some of those up. Those are great. Bad men was fantastic. Oh man, it was so bad though. <laughs> He's not not bad. Well, you know, I've never seen them both in the same room, so. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> Estidian. It's said that ancestors of the Satra, the, that's rulers of Radzata Han, forged a co covenant with a dragon divinity. Oh, just like um, Raid's Velger. Legend holds that if ever... Oh, so that's the dragon we see him in the trailer. Oh, dragon, dragon ally. Dragon ally. That means I can jump on it and ride it. 
That's what he's thinking. That's what he's thinking. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I am confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. That is very kind of you to say. Thank you. I will pray for your success. This is the best voice. Oh, man. It's it's my big animal voice. That's what that's what uh, whales sound like as well. That's what whales sound. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I believe it's time we sought out Kryle's acquaintance, an alchemist by the name of Nidhana. According to Kryle's notes, we're here to find her place to call the Great Work, further north along the coast. They're all dead. Oh no, what? He does sound like that. He's very gruff. Yeah, like Batman. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. <laughs> Think you're talking oh, yeah. about slumber? Swear to me. Swear to me. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, we have to go watch Batman now. I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. Maybe they're all You just... must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. His eyes are so red. Yeah. A dragoon? I am Vashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. This child sounds like a man. People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. <sighs> scales? We have new scales? <laughs> like... Like a... Like a measuring scale? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yes, my friends. Oh, Gather no. round. Actual I have them yeah. right here. Oh, this guy kind of looks like Geralt. Oh, <laughs> Who care? Now I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. <laughs> Those are dragon scales. Uh-oh. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. D did I say something wrong? <coughs> are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> of course! You're the one Kryl sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Yes. Oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderuva. Cinderuva. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. This is great. Patrick did say that there would be candy accents. Oh, How did you yeah. acquire those scales? We asked the dragon, of course. Curious <laughs> that it concerns you so. Uh, but worry not. 
They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. Uh-oh. 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 That is well. We don't want another dragon song You must song be quite familiar happening. with Dragon King, yes? Is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? <laughs> I should like to draw a file or two, if so. <laughs> now, see here. <laughs> come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. <laughs> Cease your shoving, <laughs> so help me. <laughs> oh dear, your poor companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No oh. harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, Shall we find a quiet place to talk? Uh, yeah. As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist who sent the request to your mistress, Kryl. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here, at the Great Work, where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. We doing this in the rain. Yeah, we are. Just taking our time. Yes, that would be Radzad Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the Satrap, the trials he must be facing. What can you tell me of the Satrap? Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzad Han. Mm. Oh. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga. The Gajasura and the Arkasodra. 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 Yeah. What did she say? The Gajasura? The Gajasura. And the Matanga. Gajasura. Oh, like a, it's N-G-A, not... Matanga. 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 Oh no. It's with a hard G. Matanga. Yeah, that's what she said. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arka Sodra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnir altogether. That's the Gajasura. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. That's the humans here. Mm hmm. It was a direct ancestor of the present Satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the Satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the Satrap is what has allowed Radzad Han to thrive all these years. And it was the Satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Death alert. I come all this way to admire one of my splendid towns. And what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Oh, something. Owen? Oh, the, the guild master for, for arcanists. Is that him? Or, yeah. Uh, another, another body, body another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plan. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat? With the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. It does suck. Oh, talkie talkies. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. They did. They did. Thanks, Tancred. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. They had better be. Or all this effort was for naught. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavner, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. See, that's why we need an alien to come try to take over the planet so that everybody works together. Yet ere they succumb to suicidal madness, <laughs> were not the Telophoroi born of her body, as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn, against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Poetic and ominous to a fault. <laughs> that said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you'd think. Van Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. And yet, and spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair. Who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope, and no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. Got some, some dark guys over here. 
That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Fendanny. Danny boy. Fendanny. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? What is it? What did you see? <laughs> Fan Daniel, are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one! Oh, wow. At long last! Already. <laughs> Look! We have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments! We've named it Whoa. a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. Wow. That's cool. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. Wow. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. That's fair. It is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me or knock me senseless. Oh, you needn't ask. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Nidana, I, I... Are you certain you wish to do this? I mean, there's a whole set of scions with me that could... Like, come with If me. others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But should I fail to return, then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. She said, Is that clear? If it fails, science. Science. Just do some science. We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us, or you. Be on your guard. Mischief. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. Bad guy music. We should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. Any moment now. Bad guy music means no bad things happen. Oh, yeah. it's the same bubble that the Lakshmi. It's working. Trial hat. You see. And you, you are still yourself. Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. Uh, of course you do. I mean, we're always ourselves because we have the echo. 
so we don't get affected by this. Mm. Does she not know that? Mm. Far so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. Oh, that's true. A yeah. few more steps. Yeah, yeah. New ones. New ones. Where's your sprout icon? <laughs> it's up there somewhere. Up there. Praise be to the sisters, we made it! And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. Good point. What? Uh -oh. oh no. What are these weird ah! chains? But, but those two um, what what are their names? Are um, the guy that got crippled and the traitor girl? Get <laughs> their names. <laughs> Art, Art, what's his name? Ardvar, Ar Arnvel, yeah, yeah. They have the echo, but they don't have the blessing, do they? And for dollar, yeah. For dollar. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. You can't do this! Please! Oh no! Oh shit. That was unexpected. Oh no! Oh no, she's stuck in there. Oh crap. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Hmm. The similarities are striking. My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight, though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories, but I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. <sighs> How to explain? Well, perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. 
I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Then I expect you've heard of me. Oh, the old. is he the king? Hmm. The one they brought back? Um, at yeah. your oh. service. He's the one that brought the king back. Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met, day after day, of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled. And ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. Oh, 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 the memory of it. <laughs> my poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter, we struggled to breathe. Oh, I forget the person. No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence did we get kicked out for they were ever hungry for stimulation slaves to the slightest hint and amusement was afoot our nation was ailing but I would see the poison purged I resurrected a legend our first and greatest yeah, the king. He resurrected the king. Zan, uh, Zan something. God, so and just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. Zandy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards. He's back. Always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast one's empire or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. He was In the boss. The end, all is lost. He was the boss at the end of the Crystal Tower. In a realm reborn. Well, that was the shadow of you darkness. You know as but well as I there. that the Emperor stands to lose this war, and so I have come to claim you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Oh, Emmett. What have Send you done? one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth, majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? It's 
bleak. So easily distracted. Why? I almost left without saying farewell. As for your friend, you need worry. These pawns are far more useful to me alive as fuel for the primes. Ah ah ah! If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. We shall, we shall meet, meet again. again! Not in what it means, my inspired. Oh, oh no, 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 no. But, but somewhere, somewhere more suitably grandiose. grandiose. Your, Your favorite, favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. At least take. Did he throw it away into the, the vast nothingness? Just pick up the thing. The satrap at Rats at Han. First, we must inform everyone of the situation. Nidhana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Need Hana. Can you answer me this? No need Hana is trapped in the tower. She's still alive, yes? Then. Then we must make warding scales, as many as we can. The prototype works perfectly. This need Hana proved a peril to herself. So let us make more scales that she and all. All those who were taken might be saved. Aye, as alchemists, this is how we will help win this fight. My friends, the satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this link pro that he might personally discuss the production of the warding scales with you. And for our Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress Nidhana noted your vital contributions to the tal talisman's creation. This fact came to the satrap's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. In addition to thanking you in person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Razat Han for an audience with His Excellency? We should be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between our lands can only be the, to the benefit of all. Then it is settled. Please come to the gates east of the Giant Skull Grounds and I will show you into the city. Oh, he's so hungry. I know. Uh-oh, cutscene. A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun.
The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. I have that dance. Oh, that's why that dance is called a Tavnerian dance. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once <laughs> swallowed up by patchwork streets. <laughs> now it makes sense. I've had that dance for so long. I'm like, where's Tavner? I've never been to Tavner before. Okay. I mean, it's cool. It's one of my favorite dances. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Here we are, Megaduta. Megaduta. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzat Han. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have Young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. Not everything went to plan. I assume you speak of Nedana. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nedana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. Oh? Oh? This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Dragon. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Stop. Stop controlling this puppet, dragon. Nay. He hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. As you wish. Damn. Is Tinian calling him up? Uh oh. You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesian. But you are known to me. Even here have we heard of the science of the seventh dawn. Wow. What a big nose. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted have this isle served as mine abode. 
Ritra of the first brood, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. And their sister. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former spawn, I was last to hatch. What? Yeah. Wow, I was wondering, because they said the number earlier before. Yeah, I like this music. It's my mount music. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with the dragon. Not that a great worm sat in the Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge. As the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. He was like, this is my Helen. Y'all gotta, gotta deal with it. Yeah. In time, the ancestors <laughs> of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, adopting the example of the Arkasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until, Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. Freaking humans, man. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Atha. But if Ritra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A facade. A charade. Sure. Yes, and one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, Sworn to secrecy. Perforce. Good word. Your eye. It was taken. Tis here, buried within a semblance of flesh. Jean Varjan. The body before thee is but a simulacrum. Constructed by the finest artisans of Razatan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. Oh, so he just walks around as a tiny boy. That's unexpected. <sighs> yeah. That would explain why I felt the presence <laughs> of a dragon upon our first meeting. Ah. That's why they were staring at I each am other. woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered, Estinian warm blood. Wow. They brothers from the same. From mother. the very first, we sense the nature of one another. Yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. Not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rad's. It is nice that he speaks words, whereas the other dragons did not. Yeah. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence 
Should it lay within our power to spell its wicked influence, yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a surer path before me. Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recently, thou didst cast down false gods in Pagalthan and Kartanau, I am told. True, we did. But that did happen. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Just the tip. Just the tip. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. So much to be done. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steam your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Close the curtain! We don't know who this is. Oh. Will thou not lend thine aid? <laughs> Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I. Okay. Damn. I am in thy debt. I was standing there was like, why are we still talking? We gotta go. Yeah, right. Let's do it. Let's do it. That, that portion of that slice is right where a third of the audience gets knocked out. Yep. <laughs> How many times do I wake up in the middle of the night and watch him get blown off stage? <laughs> Just as I was getting used to the bomb, you Thevner. We're back in Chile, Charlian. Take care not to catch your death, eh? We need you for battle to come. Now then, everyone appears to be here, so let us take stock of all the developments and discoveries. That seemed like a good stopping spot. Why stopping spot? I thought we were doing the, the dungeon. Are we? Yeah. Oh, we are going to do the dungeon. Yeah, we're going to do the dungeon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was the original stopping point, And then people told me there was a dungeon. So we're going to do the dungeon. But go, go back to the shrine. Starting quest lines can join here. Yeah, so we're just doing the dungeon. Yeah, just the dungeon. And then it almost we'll... seems like we should do that next time. Okay. okay. Unless, no. I mean, after this, it's like it doesn't seem like it, it blocks off anymore. Yeah, we're going to be going by... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> by levels again. Yeah. So... I mean, the next one starts 81. So, I mean, we can end it here. What do y'all think? Should we do it? Should we do the dungeon?
I'm hungry. I'm gonna feed dog while we wait. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're done with like the, the world building. Are there... Are there other areas that we're gonna be introduced to? I'm gonna guess there is. Spoilers. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave it off. We'll leave it off for now. I think we got a good bit done. It seems like about the same amount of time to finish the first part of the quest line and this one too. We're about four hours each. With a little bit, with the same amount of dilly dallying. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll take a five minute break. Take care of the doggy. Feed the doggy. Wow. And then. We're gonna we're gonna finish some metal gear because that's been just like hanging around and we want to finish it. So that's it for Final Fantasy. See you in five minutes. Wait, pause. Pause.